Hey guys, Katie here on the GF Ninja. I'm gonna be doing a product review today on the Sugar Art Powdered Food Colors. Um, I've been wanting to do this review for a while. I'm excited to try this product, so stick around if you wanna see how it turns out. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be doing a review today of the Sugar Art um, which is advertised as gluten-free and vegan. Um, I have not opened up this box except to just look at it. I had to look at it, but um, yeah. When you get your package, it comes in this cute little box um, with the sugar art on it. And inside there is a little card that tells you how to use their product. Um, I bought the Master Elites that I'm gonna try today. They also have an array of other things on their website. Um, they have a color specifically for chocolate because chocolate is needs to be oil-based colors um, which gel is not oil-based so it's not going to work well work well in your chocolate um, it'll probably seize and you don't want that so if you're interested in in dealing with colors with chocolate you should check out their website um, a lot of neat things on here yeah this little card tells you all about it and it tells you how uh, water milk or egg whites can help activate the color. I have a dropper of water here just in case I need it. I think I'm gonna add a little few drops of water to every single one of these buttercreams. And um, yeah, and watch hopefully the magic happen. So inside I've got my little invoice. I don't really need that, so I'm gonna throw that away. And the Masterly I got Violet, Sassy Pink, and Emerald. And the Sterling Pearl I got um, brilliant sparkle and sugar plum so I think I'm gonna try those on a later date and I'm just gonna do the master elite today so let me take these out all right so I'm gonna put the sterling pearls aside they have the silver top which I like I can tell the difference pretty easily so but yeah I got the sassy pink violet and the emerald so let me open up, I'm gonna open up the emerald and see what's inside. That does not look emerald. I'm a little worried. I hope this is the right color. <laughs> but anyways, on their website also, um, they have a color, I think it's called a color ring. Yeah, and it has little amount, like little spoons on it. And what they're labeled as is a dash, a pinch, and a smidgen things like that which I already had a little spoon ring of that I don't have five I have only four little spoons but I think it's gonna work just fine since I already had that I didn't bother getting the color ring um, I assume is about the same size so we're gonna find out I guess but um, I'm a little worried about this emerald color hopefully it'll turn out because it doesn't really look it's supposed to be green and this is supposed to be violet. <laughs> we'll see if this turns out. And then sassy pink. So, yeah. But yeah, that's supposed to be emerald. I'm not, not real sure about that. We're going to see, though. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just start with a little bit. And I've got four different ones. I might mix the sassy pink and the violet just to see what happens. Um, in another one just to give me a different color and I'm gonna take just the smallest of the nip and I'm gonna place it in one of my little butter creams and they said you can add water to it and then add it to the butter cream I'm just gonna add it to the butter cream oh it is green oh yes that's so cool I was looking I was like I don't know if this is gonna turn out green but it's wonderful look at that color so that was just the smallest little spoon on my color ring. That's really vibrant color. I like this. I'm, I'm getting excited about this because working with the liquid gels, it takes a lot of food color sometimes. So I'm kind of happy to see that I'm getting this bright vibrant. I don't think I need any more actually. I think this is good, but that's so odd. It's not even green in here but it's turning out green i'm pretty happy with that so and it's turning my fingers green too you might want to wear gloves <laughs> if you don't want it all over you we'll see if it 
comes out of my fingers. I'm gonna go with the violet. Yeah, I'm getting this all over the place, so just keep in mind. What I plan on doing is piping on here a little bit and then um, seeing how it turns out the next day because colors will develop and they do say in here, wait about 15 minutes to let the color develop. And um, so I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna pipe this on the little cookies that I have here. They're in the shape of a mom with a little heart in the center for Mother's Day. And then I'm going to wait overnight, see how the color develops as it sits and show it to you guys tomorrow. So that's my plan. All right, now I'm gonna take the violet, just a little bit, a little smidge. A couple of drops. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty. Yeah, it doesn't take much. I'm very, very happy so far. Vibrant colors. I like it. Very pretty. put the tops on these because I have a feeling that if I spilled them I would cry <laughs> these are very vibrant as, they, as they've been sitting here they are getting even more so um, just a little bit goes a long way with this so I'm gonna load up my piping bags some frosting and start playing with my cookies here So I'm back to show you how this product turned out the next day, and it really hasn't developed much overnight. They were super vibrant to begin with, which is a huge plus. Gel colors take a lot in order to get to this level of color, and I barely used any, just the smallest little spoon of my coloring. And so I'm happy with this product. I'm gonna be trying more of their stuff, um, including their chocolate colors. I've got some diamond dust over there that I'm going to try. I'll let you know how that turns out. Um, next time I'm going to break out my fondant mat whenever I'm working with this because it did stain my table a little bit of pink. So don't do this on your grandma's precious passed down table, you know, that's been passed down generation to generation. Do not put it on countertops that you don't want stained. Uh, put a mat on it, wear an apron, wear some gloves. Um, it did come out of my hands pretty easily. There's still a little bit of residue left over. But other than that, I am happy with this. Um, this product is gluten-free and vegan, which is a huge plus. So hit that like button if you like this video. Comment if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button if you wanna hear more from me. So I will catch y'all later. Have a great day. They were super vibrant from the get-go, and so I'm super happy with that. Um, I'm saying super a lot, so I'm gonna stop doing that. What was I gonna say? Okay, let's get over here. Okay. Comment if you wanna have any blah, blah, blah. Um, They were super vibrant, vibrant, I can't talk. I'll catch y'all later. No.